Tis the season to be jolly and cold and wet. And all of that comes directly onto our front porch during the winter seasons. But I do decorate on a small scale on the front porch. That's what you're looking at. So now let's go ahead and go inside and get warm. Let's go to work. I didn't want to put a lot of things in the foyer. So what I have here is a small curio cabinet that is normally in the dining room. It has all of the crystal bowls and things that I own. So out of the cabinet came five of the small vases placed on top, added little small topiaries to them, and voila, I had a Christmas decoration for the foyer. You remember that canvas from an earlier DIY using that large reindeer from the Dollar Tree. As you enter the dining room, in the corner you will see a large topiary tree. This is a DIY using two large topiary balls and a large branch taken out of the yard. Now with my curio out of this room, I needed to do something in this corner. So I'm using a silver tray styled table to create this vignette. These are two apothecary jars and that's a tin right from the garage where I simply added a bow to tie it all together. Remember those blue and white plates that I began collecting during the summer? They're still on the wall. I just updated the floor arrangement so it would connect to the centerpiece on the table. I know you recognize that Dollar Tree foliage from my other centerpieces. Okay, on my main focal wall, I'm mixing metals, gold on the wall and silver on the table. On the table, we have my very first tree skirt. I fell in love with it years ago and I still love it today. I had it dry cleaned and I'm using it on this table for a pop of color. Threw in a box, a topiary and a beaded tray to pull together this vignette. Now that topiary serves a dual purpose. Yep, those silver berries are from my Dollar Tree foliage. Now I wanted to update the two chairs in the dining room with blue velvet pillows. Unfortunately, the color I was looking for was not available. So I simply used what I had, added a ribbon and an ornament and placed them on the chairs. Now onto my dining room table. I'm using cobalt blue, silver and white. The napkins or navy. Those silver placemats from the Walmart make a beautiful runner when you just connect them together down the center of the table. I just love my place setting. It puts together everyday dishes with china. I have my Dollar Tree napkin ring. That's what I'm going to use it for this holiday season. You can see how I simply drape the napkin through the hole in the ornament, which is what it is. Then I place it on top of fine china. That is from a yard sale, a set of 40. That's the bowl that came with the group. That blue salad plate is 99 cents at a thrift store. It's the Walmart brand. It sits on top of my everyday white dishes, the white plate. Now, without a doubt, all of the blue glasses are from the Dollar Tree. The champagne flute is from Goodwill. That was a $20 investment for six of those. And it also comes with an ice bucket. And that's our play setting. Now my table is set for four, so I'm taking advantage of the space available for my salad bowl, as well as additional glasses for water or whatever we may need. Now these are two of those large holiday floral bouquets from Hobby Lobby. I'm using those to flank my center of my centerpiece. And that center is my mercury glass snowman. I just love him. Now he's also a candle holder and I do have a candle right inside of his hat. And by the way, I did finish making his bow tie. Now I don't usually like tall centerpieces, so I can always just swap him out for that topiary on the table. I didn't want the base of my centerpiece to be flat, so I did add some additional ornaments some smaller picks. I pulled those out so you can see exactly what I did. There are some mercury glass LED lights. They're called onion lights. I purchased them from Michaels at 50% off. Now just a sidebar here, I am so honored to have viewers that actually try my DIYs like Keisha Palmer and her daughter. This is their adorable mercury glass snowman and Keisha, I'm loving the blue. As you enter the living room, take a look to your right along the walls of the stairs. Remember those last minute Christmas decorations that I needed? There they are on those two sconces along the stairs. You can also see the back of a square wreath and you'll see more of that later. 
Now, I took advantage of the lamp table that I had moved next to the sofa. So I added some gift boxes. They're actually sitting on top of some easels from the Dollar Tree, those metal ones. And I have a Santa on the table using some greenery and some ribbon. Now I removed some of the pillows that came with the couch and placed them in a closet. Then I added a pop of color to the couch that complements the rest of my decor and my boxes that I placed around the Christmas tree. This was a coffee table that I turned into a bed bench. It's on loan to the living room for the holidays. I did not want to take away my coffee table book or my Eiffel Tower, which are to stay on the coffee table. So I added my tiled checkerboard, which is a DIY, my nutcrackers, and a little box dressed up the book by adding wrapping paper. Now talk about putting the whimsy back in Christmas. This is my favorite DIY for the holiday season. Now I just love sitting on the couch and looking across at my beautiful Dollar Tree Winter Wonderland Christmas Village. Yep, made from those boxes at the Dollar Tree that are shaped like little houses. I'll link that information in the info box and on an iCard. Now I've had a lot of fun enjoying some beautiful Christmas holiday events. So the stairs kind of got the short end of the stick. I just simply took two of those square topiaries and placed them along the rails and guys, this is what I ended up with. They're alternating basically between the sconces and I love how this turned out. Simple, quick and easy. Well, friends and family, I want to thank you so much for being such loyal viewers. And I thank God, my Heavenly Father, for the opportunity to be able to be here on YouTube and to have an extended family in you. You guys have truly blessed me with your loyalty and your support and your comments and encouragement. I really appreciate you guys duplicating this DIYs and sending me pictures of your commitment to my channel to keep going. That has just gotten me so pumped up for 2017. I want to say thank you for your prayers and your support and for your likes and your shares and anything that you've ever done toward amateur decorating like a pro. You have helped me to grow and I could not have seen the success that I have gotten already on YouTube if you had not been there for me. I thank you so much for that and I wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Remember, stay in prayer, stay creative.